This video will walk you through the setup of your Grademaster 600 as well as the Grademaster 600 FC test scoring machines. The scanner should have arrived in a white box that looks like this. Let's get you set up right away to start using your new scanner. Inside the outer white box, you will find a small brown box that houses various components for the scanner. We recommend that you save all packing materials in case the scanner needs to be shipped at a later date. Let's open the box and see what all the items look like and how they work together. First open the brown box and remove the small white box and ink cartridge. Set the power supply and ink cartridge aside until needed. In the center of the box, there is an orange folder that contains important information that you will need to keep regarding the scanner. Some of the contents inside the folder may vary slightly depending on whether you are on a 30-day trial or you purchase the machine, but the following items will be in every folder regardless of the program. You will find the warranty and maintenance information for the scanner. Please read the information sheet and keep it for future reference. Behind the maintenance agreement, you will find the Grademaster Forms Catalog. This catalog illustrates each of the test forms that are available that work with the Grademaster Scanner. It shows what the forms look like, along with a summary of all of the characteristics for each form and the item number for ordering. The forms catalog will be helpful when reordering test, survey, ballot, and utility forms for your Grademaster Scanner. Behind the forms catalog is a clear protective sheet with a bright orange attention sticker at the top. Inside the protective sleeve is the calibration sheet for the scanner. You will need to keep this form in a safe place as it is reusable and necessary to keep the scanner running properly. The final item that you will find in this folder is a single answer sheet. If you are unable to locate the original activation card that should have come clipped to the scanner, you will be able to use this form to activate the scanner. We recommend that you keep all of these important materials together in the orange folder they came in so they can be easily located. On the other side of the brown materials box, you will find a clear scanner dust cover along with the USB and serial cables. Set the dust cover aside for now. The connection cables are needed for linking the scanner to your computer to work with the data link software the scanner came with. The type of connection ports you have on your computer will determine the cable you will need to use. If you have a tower computer that does not have USB ports, you will need to use the serial pin cable. Most laptops and newer tower units have a USB port so you can use the USB cable. Leave whichever cable you will not be using in the box for storage. If you plan to use a scanner as a standalone machine and not hook it up to Datalink, you can leave all of the cables in the box for storage. If the Grandmaster you are setting up has come to you as a 30-day trial, there will be forms under the center compartment. Lift the tab at the center of the compartment access panel to locate the forms. There are two different types of forms included. The smaller forms are for creating a teacher key and administering a test to students. The larger pack of forms are the item analysis forms. The item analysis forms are for collecting test data after all of the tests have been run through the scanner. This information will also be available in reports if using the Datalink software. You can now remove the scanner from the large white box. Make sure to keep the side cardboard protectors in case you need to ship the scanner in the future. Remove the clear plastic bag from the scanner and place it back in the white box. On the front of the scanner, there will be a clip keeping the scanner activation sheet and Datalink software disk in place for shipping. Remove the clip and set both the activation card and software disk aside until needed. You will need the green activation card that came clipped to the scanner to activate the scanner. This card has a scanner serial number pre-printed on the top right corner of the form. You will need this number when you fill out the online registration form. If for some reason you are unable to locate the activation card that should have come clipped to your scanner, you may use any Grademaster form that has a student ID grid to activate the scanner. The single Grademaster form that came with your scanner in the orange folder was sent for this purpose. You will need to have your scanner serial number for the online activation form. If using a test sheet, you will need to look up the serial number. The serial number is located on the back of the scanner on a white sticker. Grademaster 600 and FC machines start with an H followed by a five-digit number. Once you've located your activation card or a test with the student ID grid, log on to our activation website and fill out the online registration form. Fill out the web form completely and submit it. Once you submit your information online, you will be supplied with a four-digit activation code specifically for your scanner. Write in this code at the top left of the activation form and fill in the corresponding bubbles of your activation form with the number 2 pencil. 
If using a test sheet, you will need to fill in the first four digits of the student ID grid bubbles. Leave the rest of the remaining number field blank. You will also need to mark the test form as the key by bubbling in the K at the top left. The filled in bubbles are what will activate your scanner when the form is scanned. Plug in the power supply to the wall outlet and the back of the scanner. You will notice that the LCD screen currently says Activation Required. Feed the filled in activation sheet through the scanner. Your LCD display will change from Activation Required to Ready. Your scanner is now activated. Now you will need to install the ink cartridge and test the print. The scanner came with a red Hewlett Packard ink cartridge to be used with the Grademaster scanner. A new ink cartridge will last about 6 to 12 months or run approximately 10,000 to 15,000 answer sheets. How frequently the scanner is used will determine how often you'll need to replace the ink. We recommend that you replace the cartridge at the beginning of the school year or at least once a year. If you've recently located a scanner in a box that you were not aware that you had, or if your scanner has not been used for an extended period of time, you may need to purchase a new ink cartridge. To install the ink in your scanner, you will need to remove the front ink cover. To do this, place your hand over the front cover like this and squeeze the tabs together. Remove the cover and reveal the empty ink chamber. Open the package to the new ink cartridge and discard the packing material. Make sure to remove the protective tape that covers the copper-colored plate of the ink cartridge. Insert the new ink cartridge into the scanner with the copper side away from you. The silver Hewlett Packard sticker should be facing you. If you want to track how long this cartridge has been in your scanner, use a fine tip permanent marker and on the silver Hewlett Packard label, write the date. Replace the ink cover by threading the small feet on the left of the cover piece into the slots on the face of the scanner. Once those are properly inserted, press down and in on the cover plate to lock it into place. You will need to run a test sheet through the scanner to ensure that it is marking the sheets correctly and does not have any printing problems. The scanner should still be plugged in with Ready showing in the LCD panel. Create a key to run through the scanner to test the printing. It doesn't matter which Grademaster form you use to test the printing as long as you mark it as the key. After you have filled in all of the answers on the front of the answer sheet and mark the key bubble, feed it through your scanner. When the key is run through the scanner, it will print the corresponding letter or number next to each row that has a mark. If everything looks okay with the print, you have successfully inserted the ink and can continue to use your scanner. If you are experiencing printing problems, please view the video on troubleshooting ink problems. Now that we have activated the scanner, installed the ink, and tested the print, there's only one more feature we need to activate. Installing Datalink software is optional, but will provide you with more reporting and data exporting options. Datalink software is registered to the scanner, not the user. That means you can install the Datalink software to an unlimited number of computers at your school for various teachers to use throughout the building. Doing this will allow teachers to connect the scanner directly to their computer or come to the main testing area, scan their tests, save their test data to a flash drive, and take that saved information to view reports, print and extract data from the Datalink program running on their computer in their classroom. This will free up the scanner and computer for other users. To install Datalink, you must be logged on to the computer with administrator privileges. Insert the CD into your CD drive and select Install Datalink from the list of options when the install window appears. Also included on the CD are optional installs for the scanner USB driver and the scanner firmware updater. Scanners are sent with the most current firmware available. The most current firmware releases and USB drivers can also be found on the download section of our website. A complete document for using Datalink is included in the help file. New users of Datalink should read the help file to gain a full understanding of the application prior to using it. A brief overview for using Datalink is included in the Datalink Quick Start Guide that accompanied your Datalink CD. After installation, you can launch Datalink by going to Start, Programs, Apperson Education Products, and selecting Datalink. Before the first use of the Datalink program, you will be asked to enter a software key. The software key can be found on the back side of your Quick Start Guide. Enter these numbers into the appropriate fields and you'll be ready to use your Datalink software. Your Grademaster scanner is now set up, activated, and ready to use. When your scanner is not in use, you can simply unplug the power and cable connections on the back and place a dust cover over the top for storage. For more information on how to use a Datalink software that came with your scanner, you can view our other online tutorials. 
If you are experiencing problems, please contact a member of our technical support team at 800-827-9219.